Hi, I'm Drool Bats. So nice to see you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2015 horror movie Sun Choke. I'm going to be discussing it based on its premise, its production value and artistic choices, and finally how it compares or contrasts to other films of the genre. I hope you enjoy. Basically, this girl, Janie, is mentally ill and she's recovering from some kind of traumatic incident. It was some kind of assault or a car accident or something like that, and uh, it really messed her up. Basically, she's taking time to focus on her health, and one day while she's um, stepping away from therapy for a little bit to like go for a car ride, she sees this girl driving by, and she suddenly, in kind of this hallucination, sees this girl as herself she begins stalking this other girl. Now, Janie's caretaker tries to prevent her from doing this. Her caretaker is helping her with um, like making meals and physical therapy. She's helping her with like meditation, psychology, hypnotherapy, if that's a word. And she uses a lot of keywords like sun choke is one of the magical words. She really doesn't want Janie doing anything reckless. So she's trying to stop Janie and she punishes Janie every time Janie tries to creepily stalk this girl. However, the caretaker's methods of helping and punishing Janie are starting to seem kind of villainous. The question arises as Janie and her caretaker continue to butt heads and lock horns is, are Janie's intentions more dangerous than her caretaker's? This movie was a very slow burn type of experience. It was very, um, character-based rather than a phenomenon-based story, so a lot of the movie uh, didn't have a lot of dialogue and it was mostly just a lot of long, slow, really up-close shots of Janie to kind of illustrate her experiences and how she was experiencing the world. It had a really like semi-muted color palette as well and really not a lot of shot variety in this movie. This is a very difficult story for me to summarize. It was told in an extremely disjointed way. It was intentional. It was intentional. Um, I think it was supposed to add to like the experience of what's going on in Janie's mind, but the movie used a lot of flashbacks and a lot of really disjointed experiences that made it difficult to uh, kind of separate what was going on in Janie's head or like what was actually happening um, and it made for a really immersive experience but it was a very confusing one that kind of got muddied along the way in my opinion. Now I'm going to talk about how this movie compares to other films of the genre. I am going to be spoiling this movie so if you want to see Sun Choke for yourself I suggest you leave now you have been warned. Thank you for sticking around. <laughs> As Janie kind of gets more and more into her delusions and as her caretaker gets more and more aggressive in trying to stop Janie, things come to a head. Janie kills her caretaker and kidnaps the girl that she's been stalking. Um, she starts to project herself into this girl and starts doing things to this girl that her caretaker did to her. And it's kind of implied that Janie is finally able to like heal from her mental illness and the accident she was in by um, like graduating to the role of the caretaker as she projects herself onto the girl and um, she claims she's like always felt something was missing and like now she knows what it is. This story was told in a very disjointed way and in a very very slow manner. It was all about Janie's experience but it was a little bit hard as an audience member to get into the mindset because the story was so muddled and there really wasn't anything to kind of compare it to to show what it was like in this world outside of Janie's head. There's a movie that kind of uses a lot of similar storytelling elements that is called The Perfect Host. I think it's a great movie. Um, the Perfect Host, basically, the plot boiled down is this young man like robs a bank, the police are after him, so he breaks into this older man's home to try to get the man to like let him stay there while the police are looking, but unbeknownst to this kid, he broke into a crazy guy's home and is now being subjected to this guy's crazy delusional fantasies. The Perfect Host did definitely showcase a lot of the insanity on 
um, the old man's part and a lot of it was from the old man's perspective so you could really see what was going on. But the movie provided contrast by showing what it was like from the young man's perspective and because he was kind of the same person walking in it was really easy to tell like what the world in this movie was supposed to be like then versus how this old guy was seeing it. It made for a really good like weird weird trippy experience but also with that kind of perspective in mind uh, because you could see how the other characters were acting and how they saw the situation. That movie also utilized a lot of flashbacks but the story had a really clear linear path and it was easy to tell when you were coming out of a flashback and back into the story and it was really easy to tell where you were in the story. So while it was a really like trippy experience, the story made sense and it was an immersive, weird, but interesting movie where you could tell what was going on even if it was surprising to you. Where Sun Choke suffered, in my opinion, was that it did a lot of the same things, but the movie, <laughs> it didn't have anything to compare Janie's weird experiences to, so basically the whole movie was just Janie seeing weird stuff. It got really tedious for me as an audience member to just be seeing things from Janie's perspective over and over again, and it made the slow descent into Janie's like uber madness really not that climactic because there was really no like starting point of normalcy to compare it to. Because the movie used a lot of flashbacks but had a really disjointed story, it was really hard to tell like, you know, is this foreshadowing or is this actually happening, etc. And I think the movie really suffered in that way just because it was really <laughs> hard to tell what was going on so instead of me being like, oh, this is really interesting and artistic, I wonder where it's going, I was just kind of like, where am I in this story? I think this movie is very very like artsy and will be more popular in like the wheelhouse of people who really are like artistic cinephiles but even so I think it was a little bit too out there and I think most of them will still find flaws in this movie. I, I appreciate that they were trying to do something creative. I think I think where the creative element comes in is kind of the heavy use of symbolism but the really vague notion of what the symbolism is. It's kind of up to the audience member to determine what you're seeing and like Janie's moment of ah I've come to completion and I, I'm finally free. It's like you're supposed to be like well why is that like you know what, what's the symbolism of her seeing herself in, in this other girl etc. That kind of is where the creativity lies. Not a lot actually happened in the movie, so you, it's a lot of just like the audience member guessing what is supposed to be happening symbolically and such. If I had to rate this movie, I would give it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It was really just not that interesting of a movie, mainly because there wasn't a lot of climactic contrast to anything that happened. Um, visually it was dull to me just because there wasn't very much shot variety, there wasn't very good use of light and dark contrast, and the colors were really bland. Bland can be good, but in this case, because there wasn't enough shot variety either, it was just a really slow slog. And the story was just disjointed, and the way it was kind of depicted through editing and camera angles just felt really flat for me. But I think the story, um, a girl trying to like rise through a delusion, um, I think that's a unique-ish premise. I think it's common, but the way they use the symbolism made it kind of unique in, in that way. And I appreciate that even though I think they fell flat, it was clear that the people who made this movie were trying to make a really experience-rich story that was really like deep, kind of. But that said, I didn't have fun watching it and I would have done a lot of things differently if I were trying to tell that same story with those same characters. But I'd love to know what you have to say. Have you seen this movie? Did you like it? More importantly, if you have seen this movie, what was your interpretation of what was going on? Please let me know any thoughts you have. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it, and please subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I make horror reviews on this channel, and 
I have a lot of fun with it and I hope you have a lot of fun watching. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.